Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. And today I'm going to be doing a collab with my new friend Ardith, which I'm sure you've heard of her before. She's very big here on YouTube and does some very beautiful cards. I'll be sure to link her channel down in the description below and her video at the end of this video so that you can go check it out after. Or maybe you've checked it out already and you're coming to me second, which is fine. <laughs> and today we are going to be doing a Limes with Friends episode. So if you're not already familiar with Artist Limes acronym, it stands for List, Include, Modify, Exclude, and Spin. Um, so what I did here was I listed the um, elements that she has in the card that I wanted to um, put a spin on myself. Um, so this is a square card with using a background stamp and then extra elements from that background stamp where she cut out the little leaves. She used heat embossing, an autumn color palette, bold color border, large die cut sentiment, and pearl embellishments. So what I'm going to do with my card is I'm going to include the background stamp with the elements from it, color border in a sense, uh, you'll see a bit later what I mean, and I'm going to add the pearl embellishments as well. What I'm going to modify is the theme and color palette and the sentiment size. I'm going to exclude the heat embossing and the large die cut sentiment for today. And to put my own spin on this, I'm going to make it into an A2 card with a window feature, and I'm going to use a spring color palette. So I know that that was a lot to go through, but if you want, you can go back, screenshot that if you want to keep it for reference for later, just to see where I got um, the list from and what I wanted to change and kind of like compare the two. Um, so what I'm doing is my spin on the card first. I'm going to change this into, instead of having that bold border, Ardith is really good at cutting out like smaller panels and then she'll add a let's like a color border or just like leave a gap and then do the bigger matte layer on the outside and I love that um but I wanted to change mine into an A2 window card so what I'm doing instead of leaving that area open for color I'm going to put acetate on this and like leave it as a window feature I'm still going to have that smaller panel on the inside but I decided to make it a bit thicker of an opening um, and right now I'm just cutting out the card base itself and then I'm going to cut out a separate panel to put on top just so that we can sandwich that acetate in it. It was a little off when I was doing this, um, so maybe start with a piece of cardstock that's slightly bigger so you can cut it down. I think I ended up trimming the card very slightly. It was, it was very, like, minor. So it was okay. Otherwise, I might maybe next time try doing this on my cutting machine instead of using the dies. But um, for now, I'm just using my nesting dies from scrapbook.com, which I bought because I use these for more so for mixed media backgrounds um, and then making frames like this because um, it's a little bit easier. Originally, I was going to cut the acetate with one of the dies as well. And I was like, okay, don't be lazy. Just quickly do it with the guillotine trimmer, which is actually probably like more lazy, but I didn't need to be at like 100% accurate. So um, I just trimmed it slightly smaller than four to quarter by five and a half, just so that it wouldn't be like edge to edge. And then I'm going to add this white border. This is kind of where I'm finding it's a little off. Um, so I'm going to place it in the position that makes most sense to cover the most area and then I'll trim that little bit at the side and the bottom where it didn't exactly line up which is why I think it's a little bit better to start with a slightly larger panel and then you can just trim it down to fit your card instead of trimming your card base but again like I didn't trim off a lot um, so it wasn't too big of a deal and once I'm done trimming this up so that it matches the card base, um, I just had to trim the card base very, very minimal. As you can see, they're like tiny scraps. Um, I'm going to be stamping the middle panel with some Lawn Fawn Jellyfish ink and using the Simon Says Stamp Gerber Daisy background. Um, this is just 
a background where I had in like an image where I could like cut out and use parts of it. A lot of the background stamps that I have are a lot of geometrical shapes. Um, I think I have a poinsettia one for Christmas I could have done, but I didn't want to make this a Christmas card in honor of my new friendship with Ardit. I wanted to make a friend card, which I will likely send to her. But back to the card, I grabbed one of my Sweet Petunia uh, sticky mats to put in here just so that it would hold the card stock in place where I wanted it um, and not move around like the sticky mat moves every time but I can just move back to the corner real easy. This one I stamped quite a few times. I don't know if this is getting like a little dried out or if it's just like it is just very very light gray ink which I love. I love to do this. For backgrounds I'll like stamp one image from a stamp set over and over again in the background and then I'll color one of them just as a focal point which is a good technique. Um, that I've done a few times. I don't think I've done it on video yet, so maybe I'll do that um, eventually. But right now I am just going to stamp one of the daisies that's pretty much fully intact. The other ones are kind of like layered on top of each other. And I'm just stamping it using Lawn Fawn's Black Licorice ink as I always use. And, and I'm gonna color it using one of my new Olo markers. Um, I have a dark in one end and a lighter color in the other end. And if you need to know the color, it's RV 0.1 and RV 0.2, which is uh, cotton candy and bubble gum. And I'm just going around all the petals that are in like the back. I'm just solid coloring it using the darker shade. And then I'm adding a bit of shading to the front petals just towards the center with the darker color. And then the tips, I'm just going to blend out with the lighter pink. And then I'm using another Olo marker for the center, which again has two different colors in it. Um, o 1.2 and O 1.3, which is Loquat and Marigold on the center. And then I'm just putting this back into my Misty and I'm going to stamp it again to bring out the black. Uh, right now I'm going to super speed through the fussy cutting. I hate fussy cutting so much, but it needed to be done here um, Just because I wanted this one element from the background stamp to add to my card So for now, I'll play a little music and come back once that's done. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just going to take a marker and go around the edges just to finish them off. This isn't a black marker. My marker is actually more of like a dark charcoal because I thought I picked up black and I didn't, but it works. Um, so I'm just going to go around the edges on that just to give it a cleaner finish and make it look a little bit nicer. And then once that's done, we can start assembling the card. So I'm going to put it in this lower right hand corner. Uh, if I had the ambition to, I might have cut another daisy to cover the back, but it, you don't really see it too much through the window. Plus it's the back of the card. So, you know, you're supposed to focus on the front and the inside where the sentiment is. So I'm not too worried about it showing through. Uh, but I am going to cover up that big middle panel. I did notice it's a bit lower than it should be, so I did try to shift it. But even on the acetate, this barely art glue dries fairly fast. Um, so I just left it. It's not too big of a deal. Again, I'm not too worried about it. You still get like the effect, and as long as you know people aren't scrutinizing every <laughs> millimeter it's it won't be a problem <laughs> um so i'm just gonna glue this flower here 
And yeah, so you can see a little bit on the back, but it's not too much. So I'll just leave it. And I don't have any Hello die cut sentiments, but I do have a cut file available in my Etsy shop right now that I created a couple years ago. So I just cut out the word hello from that set. I'll link it down below if anyone's interested, but it's just kind of like more like bubbly hellos, I guess. And then there's different like, hey, hi, hello options in that set. But I cut out both the shadow and the word layers twice. Originally, I was going to cover the back of this, but you'll see in a bit that I add glue to the wrong side. And I was like, I don't really want to bother cutting that again. Plus, you're already going to see the flower a little bit through it. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And I searched forever for like a friend sentiment in all of my stamp sets and the only one I could find was in this Simon Says stamp set. I don't remember what it's called but I'll link it down below if they still have it. If not I'll try to find something similar but I just wanted it to say hello friend and if I didn't find anything in my stash I could have just printed this out on my computer really quickly um, but I did find it which is good uh, just so that it's stamped like everything else. So I'm just going to cut it straight out, just like it's a little black strip. And then I'm going to go around with my marker just again to finish up those edges. And I will glue it underneath the hello. And right now you'll see that this card is very white. We are going to add more color to it soon because I was originally going to leave it like this. Um, but I just felt like it was too much white, like because that um, jellyfish ink is very light. It, you can see it more in person, but it is very subtle. Um, here's me putting glue on the wrong side and realizing, so I was just throw it out. <laughs> um, so I thought that this needed like another pop of color and to kind of mimic that border that Ardith had in her card, I'm just going to pick some cardstock colors and I go with this like lighter, more pastel yellow. Um, and then I'm going to cut it out and I'm just going to put it on the inside of the card and I will cut another small white panel, um, same as the ones on the front to also place on the inside. So you know where you can write your message because you can't really write it beyond that section or you're going to see it through the window. Uh, so that's me gluing the panel and then close it. Yes. I love this so much more. <laughs> And then I'm going to cut out off screen the white and then glue that on the inside. And then I'm going to add a few clear uh, half pearls around the flower. But that's pretty much our card for today, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thank you to Ardith for reaching out. I very much enjoyed this collab and hope we do a bunch more in the future. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And please head on over to Ardith's channel if you haven't seen her video yet. And until next time, thanks guys. Bye.